This is the way I've set up both my uh, ICOM 6062 uh, mobile transceiver and uh, my uh, ICOM uh, 3162 uh, handy on um, both FM analog and NXDN. Now, I'm very new to the NXDN mode, but I've managed to get it up and running. I'm not saying this is 100% um, the correct settings, but if I show you these settings, they've allowed me to get going on NXDN, and they may be of any interest to someone that's trying to set up an ICOM rig. Um, so, apart from programming the uh, normal channels, which, uh, if you've looked at uh, my earlier videos on the ICOM my transceivers, you'll see uh, there's a fairly straightforward uh, process to put in the uh, the channels you want. And here's the, uh, the channel section of uh, my radios. You'll see um, at the bottom here I've got a number of uh, digital channels now, which I'll uh, come to in a moment. But before we start setting those digital channels up, <coughs> pardon me, uh, we need to look at some of the uh, basic settings. We need to go into the digital submenu here on the left. And we need to look at the option dialog here. And uh, within this, um, there's a couple of things we will need to set. And you can see how I've set mine up. Um, in this area, I'm not certain that the settings are crucial. I don't think they are. This is just about how your display on your radio will behave when you're in digital mode. You see here I've got mine uh, to set to, re, uh, to display the talk group on receive and the unit ID on receive. I've got um, talk group display on PTT set as on, but the other settings I've got as off. The call log I've got inhibited. I don't know what the relevance of this is. As I say, setting it this way has allowed me to use NXDN without a problem. So. It works is all I can say about this. And similarly, um, I haven't touched these settings here. We've got talkback timer is off. The other settings are grayed out anyway. Now it's the config that I think you're really going to need to look at if you're going to use NXDN with um, with the ICOM transceivers. And here, as I say, I'm talking about an ICOM 6062, a 5062 or one of the handhelds, the 3162 uh, series handhelds, either VHF or UHF, they'll all use the same settings. I've got my unit ID set to uh, global. You see it says global brackets edit. And then in that global edit section, I've got 1134. That 1134 is my um, NXDN ID. Okay, that's my NXDN ID. And um, having that in the transceiver uh, should mean that I will come up um, on PyStar with that ID. That ID should also come up on um, whoever I'm in QSO with should come up on their display as well. So that's my unique uh, uh, NXDN ID. And um, you can see also down here we've got call type. I've got this set to talk group. Um, I'll just look at the options here. You can either have individual or talk group. No. As far as I know, we have to set that to talk group in order to get into the NXDN talk groups. Rather uh, similarly to a DMR setup where we either have a private call or a group call. I think this is the group call. Certainly, again, setting it that way, it works. So having made those settings, okay, in the under the digital submenu and the options a dialogue. Uh, that is basically all I needed to alter on the ICOM. If we go back now to just before we look at individual channel programming, similar to DMR, we need to point each channel to a talk group. And um, under the talk group menu here, you'll see we've got a list of talk groups. I've got uh, nine there, I think. 
that I've put in. I've just had uh, talk group number one as a local uh, talk group and if I'm uh, having a simplex QSO using NXDN I just set it to uh, talk group one. You'll see that in a moment when we look at the channel programming. And then I've got the other um, English speaking as far as I know NXDN uh, talk group set here or, or a selection of them at least. Um, certainly as far as the UK is concerned, by far the most active that I've found is the CQ UK uh, talk group. Uh, we also have the, the Scottish one there. I have heard activity on um, worldwide 65,000. So I've never actually heard any, anyone on this. So I don't know whether it's widely used or not, but I've got it programmed in in case. So there's the list of my talk groups. I've got those set up. The ID number, you will. Uh, there's a list of um, NXDN talk groups on the internet. You can find them there, and you can put whichever ones you want uh, here. Let's go up to our channels. So you've got our analog, normal analog channels, and so on at the top. Here are the digital channels. So. Just the same as the analog, we need to put in the frequency we're going to use. The text that we want the transceiver to display here uh, when we switch to that channel. Power setting, you'll see mine is set to low for these digital channels because I'm working through a hotspot. It's in the same location as me, so I need very little power. Channel type we set as digital. Okay, you can see um, some items are greyed out, like the signal, the five-tone signal is greyed out. The TIMB, I just that's just defaults there to B, and I've left it alone, so you don't really need to alter that. Let's move along now to uh, the digital run code. Now we need to set this. You'll see um, I've set it to number one doesn't really matter what you set it to but whatever setting you have in the channel menu here uh, you'll need to set the same in PyStar and I'll show you my PyStar setup for NXDN uh, very shortly that's set at uh, run number one so the transceivers are also set to one this is like a color code for uh, that we'd use in DMR this is the NXDN version of it the TXRAN is the same number one so that's where you've got that arrow pointing backwards so we've got the same rx and tx code my unit id goes in there 1134 which i showed you earlier and you can see that um we've got an individual list number but we're not we're using a group a talk group that lists so this defaults to one i've just left it there okay because if you look in the next column on this particular channel is talk is pointing to talk group two. So whatever I had as number two in my talk group list, which I think was CQ UK, is going to point us to that channel. The ones here, these two channels, are my simplex digital channels, and I've just set the talk group to one. Okay, that's fine as long as whoever I'm working, I know locally, a friend of mine who's also got one of these ICOM rigs, he set his to, to talk group one. And that's fine. So we can both converse. If we were on different talk groups or different RAN codes, it wouldn't work. So we have, must have the same RAN code, same talk group. And you'll need the same RAN code as you've set in your hotspot. So we've got talk group, RAN code. I just set the squelch uh, type to, uh, to off. And that's basically it for the digital programming. It's very, very similar to the analog. We just need to worry about the talk group ID, getting our NXDN ID in there, and our run code. And now I'll show you my uh, my PyStar setup, and we'll see the um, NXDN options. Right, here's my uh, PyStar setup now for um, NXDN. And um, this particular hotspot I use for either NXDN or uh, Fusion. I've got another uh, hotspot that uh, normally sits on DMR on a different frequency, of course. So let's just have a look here. If we look on the left-hand side of the uh, PyStar screen here, 
you'll see uh, we've got the NXT NXT and settings we've got a run code of one if you remember um, we need to have the same run code programmed in the transceiver otherwise it's not going to talk to the uh, the hotspot so we've got one here <coughs> and uh, we've also got the one in the transceiver and uh, currently as you can see here we're uh, on talk group 65,000 which is the uh, the worldwide uh, talk group and uh, it's just uh, just listening I can uh, shift it to uh, just by uh, keying up on my handheld here. I'll just key up on the handheld for a second. And uh, we know now we're on uh, CQ UK. So that's simple enough. It's pretty much like using uh, any other uh, digital mode. Let's have a look at the configuration screen. We'll see what we have to set up here for NXDN. See, we've got the, the mode enabled under the uh, configuration. And if we scroll down a little bit, um, here are the NXDN <coughs> specific settings. So, very simple. In fact, we just need a startup a group. I've selected uh, one, 10922, as we said earlier, the CQ UK talk group. And I've set the run code as one. So all I had to do here, um, <clears throat> just because we've got this set to the talk group you've already seen, we can move this uh, to another talk group uh, just by keying up on our transceiver as we would with the DMR. So the operation is very similar in that respect. I just need to show you one more thing. Now, the problem with some of these hotspots is you may set everything up as I did. Your programming looks okay, using the right run code. You've got your talk groups programmed in. And the hotspot just doesn't hear the radio. And that's likely to be a problem with the, the offset. Now, I know a lot of people have to alter offsets for the other modes. I never have. I've used a variety of hotspots. They've always just worked. Maybe I was lucky. But I found that with NXDN, it was absolutely crucial that um, you had to set the offset on your hotspot. And um, uh, I went through a quite a, an experience trying to get the thing to uh, to work before I finally got the right settings. And um, if you noticed, I just went into the um, MMDVM host settings. Okay, into the expert uh, field. If you scroll down here to um, modem, now <clears throat> the TX offset I found isn't crucial. Um, I've got it set to minus 400 there, but to be honest, if I set that to zero, everything would still work. The problem you'll have is establishing the right RX offset. You can see here minus set to minus 375. At that setting, my handset talks to my hotspot and there is no problem. But my 6062 mobile rig won't work at this setting. If I want to use my 6062, I have to alter this RX offset. In fact, I have to take it up to about minus 600. Quite a difference. So you may find that you have to alter this setting. So as I say, it's under experts, expert editors, MMDVM host. Um, you'll probably end up with a, a, a totally different setting to mine because every hotspot is different and every transceiver is slightly different but the chances are you'll at least have to play with this RX offset um, setting I normally start at zero and maybe you can go either way either plus or minus but if you decide to drop down do it in 25 in steps of 25 uh, it's a little bit laborious but eventually you'll get to a point where your hotspot and your transceiver will talk to to each other um, you may get away with it on DMR or the other modes without touching it. I certainly did, but NXDN, you're probably going to have to alter this. So if you're not getting anywhere, I would look under your modem settings there on uh, the expert editor. So just a little tip. Hopefully you'll find that useful. And thank you for watching.